The Liebherr PR 936 is a smaller sized crawler tractor weighing between 21 and 25 tonnes. The XL version has a semi U blade and is NZG model number 926. And the LGP or low ground pressure version is NZG model number 927. Both models come in similar Liebherr branded boxes, with the main differences being the photos and the machine designations. So let's proceed and open one of the models up, and for this we'll choose the XL version. As usual there's no information about the real machine and that's always a pity. And that always seems a little odd when these models are really there to promote the real machine. Inside the box are a couple of trays and when we lift the lid we see the model sitting inside. It's protected with soft paper and unusually there's some brown cardboard packing strips as well. On this version of the model there's some masking tape to remove and it's there to stop the small pin from dropping out. And there are also elastic bands on the tracks which are there to keep the tracks together during shipping. However on this version of the model the blade support frames are not removable, so there seems to be no way to get the elastic bands off without a snip from a pair of scissors. Oh well, those elastic bands won't be going back on this model again. On the LGP version of the model the bands are much easier to remove. There's no assembly because these models are complete out of the box. Starting with the XL version there is some detail underneath and the metal track shoes are nicely modelled with the bolt heads visible. The track frames are also nicely detailed and most of the rollers are working rollers. At the rear the ripper assembly has sharp teeth, the connection pins are very small and there are hydraulic hoses. One very nice touch is the highlighted bolt heads and filler caps. The cab detailing is good, there are plastic grab rails and mirrors and the interior has finely detailed controls. The plastic exhaust pipe is solid without a hole, but the graphics on the engine enclosure are sharp including those used for the grills. The main dozer rams have highlighted pipes, and the semi U blade has got wear plates detailed on the bottom edge. The LGP version has much wider tracks and they are of the same good quality, and the other main difference is the straight edged blade at the front. Also different is the detailed multi-directional hydraulics that control the blade. This is a Cranes Etc safety advisory. When on site, always watch out if management are operating the machines. Ouch! It hurts! First for the features, we'll look at the XL version and the tracks won't roll on a smooth surface. But certainly they turn easily enough by hand. We saw the smooth test, so let's try the rough test. And when pushed along on a rough surface the tracks will roll, although you do have to apply quite a bit of downward pressure. There is one other working feature on the undercarriage, and that is that the track frames are transversely linked, so they can be made to oscillate up and down a little. This would help over rough terrain, although the range of movement on the model is not huge. At the front the dozing blade can be raised to a very good height. And in the mechanism there's a degree of play which allows some rotation of the blade side to side. The other feature on the XL version of the model is that you can take out the very small pins. And that allows you to set one of three different tilt angles for the blade. This all works fine but the only issue is that the pin used is very small. And if you tilt the model at all it easily drops out. If that happens of course you then look foolish as you scramble about on the floor trying to find it. Moving to the rear of the model there's a working free shank ripper. And it has a very good range of movement because the ripper teeth can dig deep. So you can certainly use it to scratch the surface of your finest furniture. The LGP version of the model has a different blade mechanism. And it's intricately engineered by NZG. It allows a full range of angled movement on both sides. And the two main lift cylinders also allow a very good height to be achieved. There's also another range of movement in that the blade can be rotated. These are two very nice crawler tractor models from NZG. They are solidly made with a high metal content so they have a good weight. And the standard of detailing is very good too. It would have been nice if the blades and ripper attachments had been removable. But overall these models look convincing and they're highly recommended.